In this example, we're going to find, uh, given the fact that the position function for the particle is given as 2t to the third minus 21t squared plus 72t minus 53, we need to find the time t at which the particle is at rest. So realize, first of all, that the particle is at rest when the velocity is equal to zero. So crucially, you understand that this is the position function. And in order to find the velocity zero, we need to find the velocity function. And the velocity function is the derivative of the position function. All right. So, the posi so we have to the, um, differentiate the right side here. Using the power rule for each term would be sufficient. 3 comes down, multiplies the 2. So we get 6t. And then the power reduces by 1. So it's squared minus 21 multiplies the 2 that that comes down that gives us 42 t re power reduces by 1 so it's just to the first power and then plus t to the 1 comes down multiplies the 72 unchanged number t to the 0 becomes a 1 so you don't have to write that down and of course uh, the uh, derivative of the constant is 0 all right so this is the velocity velocity function so we said 0 just like we talked about for the particle being at rest we set 0 to this velocity function, and then we simply solve for t. Notice, first of all, before trying to factor this, divide all sides by 6. Luckily, they're all divisible. You should get 0 is equal to t squared minus 7t plus 12. And of course, this would be now easy to factor. But this should give you factors of 12 that sum up to negative 7. Of course, and that would be what? That would be minus 4 and minus 3, right? Because minus 4 plus minus 3 multiplied together gives you positive 12. If you add them, you should get negative 7, all right? So that gives you two possibilities, t minus 4 being set to 0, t minus 3 being set to 0, add 4 on all sides, add 3 on both sides, in the first case, t is equal to 4. The second case, t is equal to 3. All right, so the correct answer in this question would be E. Thank you so much, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.